Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. Frequently I ask myself on this channel, what counts as food? I don't think we've had a video posted yet, again the editor will say somewhere if we have or haven't, uh, where we reviewed something that's technically not food. We did shoot some videos of these in the past, but I don't think any of them ended up ever dropping. It's gum. Yeah, this is the new Trident Vibes Sour. Holding it up for a bit. Hopefully there's a zoom in. Maybe there's not. I don't know what's going on. And every time a product like this comes along, mints, gum, the question is, does it count? And then a part of me says that the, the conceit of this show uh, is to showcase new and interesting foodstuffs and tell you guys about it and you guys can go and get them and hopefully, you know, have your own, formulate your own opinions on them and I tell you a little bit what I feel about them, I entertain a little bit and you are, it's brought to attention a product that maybe you wouldn't have seen and gum still fits under that category. So, we are doing a review of the Trident Vibes Sour. Sour gum is pretty hard to do because as gum is chewed, it loses its flavor, so they usually choose something that's going to last a long time. Sour is hard to get to last for a long time. Just ask, just look at any sour product. Sour Patch Kids is sour sweet gone, not sour, sour, sour. Oh my god, it's still sour. Why is it still sour? What is going on? No, it's sour sweet gone. Warheads is sour sweet and gone as well, though they can't have that tagline. I don't know what Warheads tagline is, but the point being... I don't know how this is going to actually work. The flavor is uh, Berry Twist, by the way. This was purchased at a Hoodman's for... Uh, da, 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 da. Are you serious? I should have... Two hours later. Oh, for $3.99. $3.99. So, for 40 pieces, that's not too bad, if it's not too bad. But if it's bad, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to maintain some energy while I'm trying to open it, but I'm, I was struggling. Okay. Opening her up. They are all the same color, which is interesting because from the outside they didn't look that way. It looks like it's going to be berry mixed with lime. That's the twist, because there's limes all over this packaging. Let's get one. Smell it. Smells like berry and lime. Doesn't smell very sour. Most things don't, though. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Some sour. Some definite sour. Oh. But maybe something kind of minty. The 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 lime sour is good. The berries bring in some flavors that I'm not loving. Keep chewing, you get multi levels when it comes to gum. So that's what I'm doing. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can hear that every time. I keep accidentally squeaking my teeth. Yeah, you heard that one for sure. It's doing that because there's not enough gum. Mm. Okay. I've got a number of opinions on this. The lime is in and out, the sourness is gone. The sourness came not in the first wave. There's something vaguely minty, but it just kind of tastes minty. It's not like overtly minty, you know, it's not like spearmint or wintergreen or anything. It's just like something tastes a little off, a little weird. I'm doing, I'm doing witch hands, magic hands. Um, the flavor's complex, but just not for me, I guess. It's not bad, per se. 
I think some people might- I'm gonna swallow gum. Uh, I know it's- you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna do that so I can keep talking. And not squeaking my teeth. Yeah, it's not terrible. You know, it's- it's really not. And as far as interesting new flavors go, it's miles above, you know, Starburst, uh, gum that came out, which went full on in the mint. Yeah, there's something minty- I wish I knew. Maybe in the- maybe in the ingredients it'll tell me? Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't tell me. Doesn't say like mint. Um, it's just not for me, really. I'm actually, I prefer mint. I use gum, you know, to freshen up the old breath and making it like. I'm struggling. I know I struggle a lot, actually. I I, I say that because I I, I I say it a lot, but it's hard to formulate an opinion on something that I can see why this might appeal to some people, but it's not sour enough for me. It's, that's one. It's not a flavor I super enjoy. Mixed berry not being the kind of gum I usually go for, and it's got a weird minty undertone that's like not working with everything else it's doing. It is a snack attack pass. Yeah. What would I give it out of four? I would give it... I said out of ten. I'm going to give it a four. Uh, and I, I guess had pre-formulated that and it came out. <laughs> what would I rate out of four out of four? Oh, nope. That's not right. What would I rate out of ten? A oh, four. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The gum has... Uh, it's because I swallowed it. I'm being cursed. For swallowing the gum, obviously. That's the only logical explanation. Uh, but the question around here is not, am I being cursed for probably doing the magic hands? Like an actual magic user was like, that's, that's offensive. Alicadabra. That's also probably offensive to a magic user. I'm, I'm double cursed now. Might as well just break a mirror at this point. I got so much curse. Uh, the question is not, how cursed am I? It is, would I buy this again? And the answer is no. No, I would not. It just doesn't have enough flavor, interesting, like, it's just not, it just isn't for me. I do this thing a lot with my hands. Now we're just doing this for a while. No, that's, that'd be dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna buy it again. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.